So I was in my garage tonight and I had this hatchet and I thought I can maybe do a quick restoration of this, give myself an hour and see how far I can get. So follow along with me. Uh, I'm giving myself 60 minutes and I'm going to see how far I can get. So first off, this, this hatchet was one that I picked up with plans of doing uh, the copper plating and a new um, micarta handle to match the hammer that I recently did. But the leather handle was in such good shape, I really didn't have the heart to, to cut it off. <laughs> it... It, it was too nice. It, it was still in good enough condition that I felt like it could be restored. Um, the hammer itself and the, the hatchet, I felt, were in really good condition and really could just use a basic restoration and cleanup. And so that's what I'm doing. Now, it has here a little bit of the original label. And so because of this, I don't want to do a full-on mirror polish restoration. I wanted to be able to keep the label and keep some of the history that was on this hatchet and just make it reusable. I'm trying here to clean up the label. It You can still see part of the words from Estwing and uh, made in, uh, in USA, but it's really hard to, to read but it does kind of add some character to it. So I was doing what I could to preserve it. Here it still looks okay, but in the process of cleaning it up still, it, it, uh, it's still there. It's just got scuffed a little more. The hammerhead on this really needed a little bit of reprofiling. It has been used, it's got dings, and just a, a little bit of time on my belt sander, cleaning it up, I sped up the process quite a bit because really I was only giving myself 60 minutes to do this. Trying to give myself 60 minutes also to do the video editing, so we'll see how that goes. I'm actually doing okay. It's been a little over 60 minutes to edit the video. I'm just putting a, a reprofiling that the head, now cleaning up the handle. The belt sander did it a little good, a little better. I just wanted to clean off the varnish. The end here also, I didn't want to take it off and, and clean it up. It, I felt like I could get in there with a bit of steel wool and a wire brush. And it, it did clean up quite a bit. I like that you can still read everything. It looks good. Now that I'm, I'm basically done cleaning it up, I'm just cleaning off the handle. I wanted to try it. The handle's really dry now. After I got the varnish off, it was obvious that the leather was really dry. And I... Uh, I thought some of this red axe wax would, uh, one, do well with coloring the leather a little bit, giving it a little more consistent color, and I was hoping that it would absorb in really well. I'm trying to use my hands as much as I can to warm up the wax as I'm rubbing it in. I really like the color it gave. It looks really, really good. Once I had it rubbed in, I let it sit for a little bit and then uh, tried to clean off the excess with a rag. And you can actually kind of hear the rag. It's rubbing rough. The handle is still really dry, so I decided to try some of this double-boiled um, linseed oil. This double-boiled linseed oil from Plaza does not contain any drying agent chemicals. It's true double-boiled linseed oil, it's got the consistency of honey, and when I started applying it, I really could tell it was getting absorbed. I let it also sit for a little while, 
before I cleaned off the excess with a rag. And I will be putting multiple coats of this linseed oil on. That leather really, really could use a lot more. In fact, it probably could use a dunk in a tank of linseed oil um, to really get it so it's not so dried out. But at this point, it was actually doing pretty good. And uh, I was trying to burnish it up a bit by rubbing it. But the leather, some of the, some of the pieces of leather are still pretty dry. And that really finished it up. It had been about an hour. I went from 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock tonight working on this. And uh, you can still see some of the pitting. It's cleaned up so it really can be used. You can see there the leather is dry and really can absorb a little more of that linseed oil. It's not quite rotting or drying out completely. But um, I feel like this turned out really good. It's going to be a user. Um, it's going to be a good little camp hatchet uh, with that nice hammer pole. It could be used for roofing again. I don't do much roofing. I do more camping. But it's a great little restoration. So look for opportunities to give those old things new life. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Ciao.